So for a little over overview. of the whole panorama of it. Begins with the grace of recognition that everything that seemed personal is mechanical. that prior to the onset of the ego, the newborn infant could not separate themselves from any other life force within the room that they were born within, or the walls, or the floor, or any of it. And the interpersonal dynamics create this necessary at the time, this blanket, this softening from the head of the misunderstanding that arises out of the dream of separation. And immediately, the young being experiences being separate from mommy and daddy to some degree, particularly as the months go on. But the recognition is, is that all of the elements in the play of karma were equally carried out by all of the players involved. And as there is the humility to receive what is being offered instead of the conditioned habit of behaving out of that built protective armor, what begins to be completely apparent is that every single player and every single situation in the life is replicating these karmic dynamics. That the entire world and every player in it, including you, is being moved under these laws which are coming forth to reveal that there never was anything personal, never was anything wrong or right, better or worse. It's just a replication of karma. And it's there for the humble one to receive and to let go of the conditioned habits of continuing to protect. And it becomes more and more and more clear that the whole thing is a reflective play of initial karmic dynamics, that it is impossible to blame or judge anything because it is just the replication in a larger and larger scale of these fundamental dynamics in what is called me, in what is called other, in what is called everything. And the role lies in receiving the repetition and opening this space into where the misunderstanding arose from. And the fundamental element <clears throat> was the experience of the loss of love. But the nature of your being is love itself. And in meeting what arises in the feeling of what is present and true, felt in the heart as the heart, the remedy for what was experienced to be missing appears. And something melts. And in this layer by layer by layer, these conditioned habits melt away and the reflection starts to reflect the nature of the aliveness of being. And when episodically it plays the role of karma, there is a readiness to receive it 
from the place where you sit. What occurs as these walls of conditioning continue to unravel in what is experienced as the challenge aspect of life is there begins to be a discovery that the heart that lives within me is actually the universal heart. It is found within, it pulls you within, it is the light within. It is the beloved, it is the Atman, it is God, it lives within you. And it begins to be revealed as there is the willingness to be humbled through everything that has been misunderstood. One of the subtle threads that can appear in this evolutionary process are these subtle beliefs that I am getting it, that I know more, that I have seen. that somehow this is superior. These thoughts root back to all thoughts which are part of a conditioning alive the whole life. Being humbled is being humbled into nothing. Nothing meaning no protective armor, no positions, no thoughts, nothing to define anything. And the wisdom carries the attention into every single subtle way that protection has come into expression. And the humbling is discovered to be the most beautiful taste possible. Being nothing is discovered to be more beautiful than anything imaginable. Pure, not my purity. There's no such thing as my purity. But purity. And then there is the discovery of the Atman, God that lives within you. This light that lives within you. And simply feeling this beauty enlivens its nature. It is consciousness meeting itself. What is immaculate meeting itself? It is felt within, but it is infinite and the reverberations of the meeting spread infinitely, spread through infinity. And the more deeply there is the falling in 
the more alive it becomes. And the more the dense energy of forgetfulness is innervated by the flavor of that which is awake to itself. That which is awake to itself has no possibility of ever seeing wrong. There is the recognition it is only the beloved everything being reflected back in perfection. Yet it is pulled by this compassion and this love. It is what has set apart beings like Gandhi and Martin Luther King, who were such incredible activists, but they saw no enemy. They weren't fighting the darkness. They were being carried by the heart. And thus the impact is eternal. It is all perfect as is. And the light of the Atman which lives inside of you is the beauty that transforms suffering into light. The joy the more you feel the joy in the connection with your own heart, the more the joy grows. It is the greatest delight and it is the greatest service. If there is something to accomplish, something to fix, something to change, there has been a loss of footing. If it is the pure celebration of meeting the beloved that lives within you, as no one, doing nothing, then the purity, then the purity only shines. Receiving the grace in the humbling phases. This is such an unspeakable gift and where the challenge lies. But if there is any story around it, the armoring is brought to the offering and separates you from what is truly being offered. Humility is the release of all of the habitual protection. The 
when there is the readiness to meet the underlying reality. And the underlying reality in every single thing, from the experience of darkness to the experience of light, from the experience of the relative to the experience of the absolute, to the experience of what is believed as wrong, to the experience of what is believed as right. It is all discovered to be God. That lies as the core of what you are in this moment and being stripped of the habit of knowing anything, being somebody. And you just feel it. There is even the stripping of the idea that you feel it. And then the flavor shines alone. Everything can never be described because there is no one left to describe it. This is what is called samadhi. The true realization of God. Just letting yourself fall into it. Falling into the love, into the joy. That is everywhere. Always. Perhaps you can feel how the deeper you fall into this the more self-luminous it becomes. Phenomena may pass through. It does not matter. It is touching nothing. The only power it has is the drawing of your attention. Letting what appears to move, move as it does. Feeling the unchanging nature of the heart of God. Mm. 
and it, it is not a job nor a mission. It is simply a relaxation. Um, I had a, a big unloading yesterday afternoon and I felt a very different way of being able to receive what was the offer and seeing the past um, bypassing and that I, I, it couldn't get away with it anymore. It was, I, was, I was determined to receive it fully and it was really powerful and and when it was done, there was this clean, peaceful, open, fresh place. And I was able to move on into joy and connection. And yes. It was so beautiful. Yes. So, so simple. Yes. This and is, quick. This is the grace of receiving what the conditioned mind is programmed to avoid. The more you taste it, the more planted your feet become. Eventually there is the discovery that the appearance of the issue is the resolution It is such an amazing thing when there is the learning to receive this recognition that inherent in the perception of every issue already within the appearance of the issue lies its answer. I miss that. In the appearance of issue to the conditioned mind as there is the learning to really receive fully yeah. the seeds within the mind's idea of the issue lies the answer already yeah. it's already there perfect yes so perfect yeah. sometimes in the play of time it takes five seconds. Sometimes in the play of time, it takes five weeks of remaining steadfast. But the length of time doesn't matter. What matters is being rooted, receiving what is being offered. And the byproduct is always such a deeper taste of gratitude. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very sweet. Thank you. You are very welcome, sweetheart. Love you.